What's up guys, my name is Fredan Amjad and in this video we will create this beautiful subtitle. So the first step is we have to set up a background. So go to the generators and if you scroll down we have this paper. So I'm going to drag this in my timeline. I'm going to select this and now I'm going to lower my gain, lower my lift, lower my gamma and I'm going to increase my contrast. Now we can lower the brightness and we can use this wheel to change the texture. So I'm going to have this one so i'm going to increase my gamma a bit right about here now we have to add subtitles so go to titles if you scroll up we have text color so i'm going to drag this in timeline i'm going to select this i'm going to change this to my name i'm going to change this to extra bold let's increase the size and now i'm going to change this color to green i'm going to lower the brightness of this color click ok go to shadings select number 2 enable this and now if you scroll down we have this color so i'm going to change this to white color and now if you scroll up right here we have thickness in properties so i'm going to increase the thickness and now we have to go to number 3 we have to enable this scroll down select this color i'm going to change this to maybe this gray color click ok now in the softness i'm going to change my blend to 0 Hide this, we can go to the position, zoom in, and now I'm going to change the position right about here. Now we have this substrator. Now the next step is we can animate this. So we have to go to the open FX, we can search for transform. I'm going to drag this on my text plus. Now if we go to the effects, we have this slider, we can animate these values so i'm going to add a keyframe in zoom let's type zero in zoom and now using my keyboard arrow key i'm going to go to the third frame of this video i'm going to type 1.2 let's go to the fifth frame or maybe sixth frame i'm going to type one in zoom so now as you can see we have this substrator now we can also add a motion blur so open the animation using the keyboard arrow key I'm going to add motion blur about 0.2% maybe and now check this out now to use this text as a subtitle we can trim the duration of this text plus we can press alt key we can drag this to the right side we can select this we can go to the video in title we can change this and now we can add subtitle like this and now if I play this video, as you can see, now we have the subtitle. Now we can select individual subtitle and we can change the color of that subtitle. So I'm going to change the channel subtitle to red. And now if I play this video, now we have red color. Now to animate the background, we have to select this, go to the Fusion page. And now we have to go to the clips and we have to select the background. Now we can select the properties. And now I'm going to add a keyframe in texture. Let's go to this frame, change the texture. Now we are done. We don't need to animate the whole thing. Now we have to open the spline. We have to check the paper. And now we can use the control. We can use the scroll. We can zoom out. We can select these value. Smooth out their animation. And now we can also set the loop. And now we can also change this to step in. So we have this background. Now go to the edit page and now we can trim the background and now check this out. Now if you feel that the subtitle is a bit too fast or a bit too slow then we can animate in transform. So for example if you want to slow down the speed of the subtitle then I'm going to duplicate this place this right here. Increase the duration select this go to the effects and I'm going to reset the zoom value. I'm going to add a keyframe in zoom type 0 now if you want to slow down the speed of this subtitle we can go to the fifth frame by using the arrow key and now we can type 1.2 we can now go to the tenth frame of this video and now we can type 1 so now if I play this as you can see now we have this slow subtitle and if you want to speed up the subtitle a bit then we can add a keyframe we can type 0 we can go to the second frame of this text, we can type 1.2. Now we can go to the fourth frame of this text and then we can type 
1. So now we have this file subtitle. So this is how we can create these beautiful subtitle in DaVinci Resolve.